great work with the fists. Exactly. She's moving away One, perfectly two, also as well. But good movements as well. She can go either way around the ring. It's Claire Haig who wants to dominate from the center of the ring. And Sun Zhao is the one that's moving either side. A clash of knees. You hear the flesh and the bone crashing together. Just a few feet above us here at ringside. Sickening to many. But just another day at the office for these two. I think there's a big bump on the head of Claire Haig right now. Yes, I can see that above her left eye. A good left hand from Sun Zhao. has been landing. Okay, we have the Muay Thai clinch now. Let's see what Claire Haig can do from here. She's been trying to get here. Got to work those knees to the ribs because at the moment, toe to toe, it's the Chinese girl that is having a better of the fist work. Uh, and that bump just got bigger. It did. Maybe the doctors might have to check it up, check on it pretty soon. Slapping kicks to the left thigh of Sun Zhao from Claire Haig, who still takes the center of the ring. I know, but look at the toughness of Claire Haig. She doesn't flinch when she gets hit. Well, she's got a good, strong guard. Not every one of those punches is getting through. Good defensive fighter, Claire Haig. Now, Claire Haig should be careful there, though. She can't. She shouldn't reach out for the clinch. She should punch her way to the clinch, or else she should put her arms down and soon can just land again. See? She puts her arms down before she clinches, and that might not be good. And now they're in a grappling situation. Will they go to the canvas? Neither girl looking as if they have quite the strength to bring the other down at this point. It's a question of balance as Whoa, much as strength though. Nice clinch technique there by... Down they go. And she gets down. Let's see, let's see how she does on the ground. Now, who has the advantage here, Alvin? Okay. R right now, it's Claire Haig. She's in the half guard. This is called the half guard. Now, she's trying to go for the mount. The half guard means you only have one leg inside your guard. Now, she has the side mount. This is the side mount right now. Claire Higgs on top of the side mount. Elbow work. She's looking to get her elbow in on the face. Now she's trying to elbow the face. Now if you're soon right now, you want to make space so you can go to your knees. Now if you're Claire Higgs, now she gets the full mount. This is where you want to be in an MMA bout because if you're on top, you can punch the person. Round and pound coming in and I get the feeling that that hooter at the end of the first round did Sun Jiao a lot of favors because Claire Haig was on top she was using fists, she was using elbows, and she looked as if she was gaining control. Exactly. Um, Claire Haig has a full mount position. When you're in the full mount, you can punch the person, the person cannot punch you. So that's the position you want to be in. In the meantime, you see some takedowns from Sun Zhao. I can't get the feeling that, you know, Sun Zhao was actually saved by the bell there, because Claire Haig was, was, you know, was beginning to dominate from the mount. Well, that round gets my vote as the most enthralling five minutes that we've seen so far this evening. <laughs> Don't really bother Claire Haig. Well, it's just high enough up on the head to not disrupt her sight, which is critical, of course. But a lot can change as this fight goes on. And that was a good leading left hand from Sun Zhao, who again adopts the outside of the ring. Okay, now... Claire Haig knows that she, she can dominate on the ground, so she's just going to go for the ground if I were her. She knows she can easily dominate on the ground, so she should take the fight to the ground. Yeah, Claire Haig's stellar moments from the first round came when they were on the ground, and Claire Haig had the dominant position on top. In this position, when they're standing, if you see it's Sun Zhao who has the advantage. And I just, just look at the bruising on yeah, the left the leg of Sun Zhao. There's That's so many welts in her legs now. Yeah, from the repeated punishment of those kicks from Claire Haig's right foot. Okay. All right, now we have Claire Haig trying to get the back of Shun Zhao. She might actually get the back here. Now she's going to put her left hook in there. Both legs wrapped around. Yes, that's very good control when you have both of those hooks in there. I, now you have Shun Zhao defending, trying to make sure that she can't be choked out. Good that's punching good. from, from now this the top. Is, this is called the rear mount position. It's very hard to fight off this because you can't fight with your back turned to your opponent. Now, Claire Haig is going for a rear naked choke, but now she's in the full mount position. Now let's see what kind of damage she can do from here. Can she ground and pound from here? Holding her head with the left hand, raining punches down with the right hand. And Sun Jiao still throwing punches from that prostrate position. Okay, if you throw punches from the, 
when you're being mounted, you have to remember that's nothing because gravity is against you. Yeah, without question, the heavier punches will come from above. Now, Claire Haig right now maintaining the mount position very well. Let's see what kind of finish she has from here. Now, if you look at Sun Zhao, she's trying to pull the head of Claire Haig down to make sure that she just has the space There's to punch. Space, but, yes. but look what's happening. She's opening her arm up and giving her back in the process. A grueling contest from these two now, women. Now she's flattened out. She's flattened out like this, especially with your hip to the small part of the back. It's very hard. Oh, and Sun Zhao. What a turnaround. Out. The crowd are on their feet here at ringside. Very knowledgeable and well educated, appreciating the skill involved there. Okay. Claire Haig briefly went for a sweep there, but we still have Sun Zhao on top right now, reversing the mount and the rear mount, and now ending up on top inside the guard of Claire Haig. But meanwhile, we see the welts on her leg. Both of these women have taken such punishment already. And the punches come down, but she's fending them off is Claire Haig with her legs, but not managing to prevent them from making contact. And Claire Haig sweeps Sun Zhao. Sun Zhao better stand up. Great deal of strength involved in nice that. Nice sweep. Okay, if you look at what Sun Zhao's doing, that every time at Claire Haig tries to kick with the shin, she makes sure that the kick lands on the bottom of, of her foot, foot and yes. not on the side of her legs. Which are already heavily bruised. And that will, that, that, that dead leg feeling is bound to cause her trouble and mobility oh, yes, problems. Definitely. Looks like Shin Zhao might be a little tired because she had an opportunity to stand up a while ago and she didn't take it. Yes, I was wondering about that myself. And of course, Stephen Percival sees it himself and decides to encourage the fighter to get to her feet. Might be her legs. Well, the more punishment you take to your thigh, the more difficult it is not only to stand, but to move with the uh, wow. agility that you need to avoid this punishing fighter from England, Claire Haig. Okay, now Shun Zhao's finally beginning to leg check that kick. Nice punches still by Shun Zhao. Now we have Claire Haig trying to go for the clinch and maybe go for the takedown already now. Again the knees standing up from her Muay Thai background, heavily experienced and much celebrated. But we haven't seen so much of that. She hasn't been able to really take advantage of that experience. Knees to the rib cage are punishing blows. You know, I think the leg of Shun Zhao is really affecting her. She's hardly moving. What, not like when the, when the match first started, she was moving left and right. Yes. Now she, she's, she's beginning to become a sitting target now. You're right, she was the one who was circling the ring, but her mobility severely compromised by that bruised left thigh as the second round draws to a close with the crowd here in Singapore. Wow. Just really appreciating this contest. Had to be one of the most exciting fights of the night for women. Difficult to score, Alvin. We've yes, seen two very rounds. Difficult, very difficult. Who to do score. you have on top? Both of them had their moments here. We had we had Claire Haig get the position, dominant position on the ground, the mount and the rear mount. We had Sun Zhao also do well in the in the boxing department, so it'll be really hard to call this. Well, we could sit and watch this all night. Of course, uh, there's no way the fighters could manage to carry on all night. We have just one round, and that's five minutes more of action. But just look at the effort these girls are putting in. Some exactly. really intelligent and look turnarounds. At, look at the attacks of Claire Haig, though. She can strike you, knee strike you, then attack you on the ground. Claire Haig's really a very well-rounded mixed martial artist. And look at that sweep there. I mean, that was an enormous feat of strength from her back to actually ground Sun Jiao. Action you only see here in martial combat. So difficult to score that we really couldn't give you a reliable indication of who needs to win this wow. round. But Sun Jiao has started in electrifying style. Looks like her leg's feeling better. She's bouncing up and down. Oh, she gets it again. Well, that seems to be the way to slow her down, doesn't it? That strike to the thigh. Oh, and again. Nice clinch by Claire Haig. Look at the relentless attacks of Claire Haig. If you notice, Claire Haig's going off to the side. 